Howdy guys and welcome back to my channel. Please excuse my voice. I am not feeling very well at all. Um, I have like this cold slash flu thing. Like my body really hurts. I can't breathe out my nose. My throat hurts. Um, I've done a COVID test but it's all negative. So I'm just feeling really, really rough at the moment. Um, it's Monday. So happy Monday. Um, I thought I would take you along with me today for a day in the life. Um, I do have quite a few things to do. I'm about to leave to take Tyler to school. I have a couple of emails to send and a few phone calls to make. But I'll take you all along with me to do that. But it's ten past eight. We have to leave in five minutes to do the school run. now um it is quarter to nine i've got home i've made myself a cup of tea and i've written a list of important things that i need to do today um it's monday so i haven't got to get tyler from school till four o'clock because he has maths after school club in preparation for his sats in a couple of months i am still feeling super super rough um, I feel like I've pulled all my muscles in my arms here, down here, and also the other side, and in my back and my chest. Um, I don't know why, I haven't been coughing, haven't lifted anything heavy, um, but I'm, yeah, just really not feeling brilliant at all. So, a rundown of what I need to do today, wow, the important things, I need to phone my medication clinic. Um, this is because I'm due to start my second round of IVF treatment on Wednesday, so I'll be starting my medication on Wednesday. Um, I was only able to book my medication to be delivered here last Friday, so it's been arranged to be delivered for Wednesday, but I need to change that to Tuesday delivery, so I need it delivered tomorrow, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to start my medication Wednesday, and then it's going to throw my whole plan off, and it won't my plan won't work basically um i need to phone the school to book parents evening i need to email my operations team because my pension wasn't transferred over so that's a whole nother thing and i need to book the cattery for July because we're going away for a long weekend which is I'm really looking forward to so I need to book that in preparation for July um, so not a huge amount of like important things to do but obviously they have to be done especially the most important thing is my medication re um, changing the delivery date for my medication because like I said if it's not delivered then Wednesday I won't be able to start my medication and it's going to throw my whole treatment plan off which I really don't want especially because of my first try that failed I'm now aware of the process of things and the steps that are being taken and what needs to be done when and time scales and stuff so 
it is paramount that I start my medication on Wednesday. So they open at nine o'clock in 15 minutes, so I'll phone Tyler. I think I'm just gonna wait till then to phone that I'm gonna finish my cup of tea. Still, because I, because I feel so rough, I feel absolutely shattered. Um, I'm not, I, I went to bed at like nine o'clock. So I had like, I don't know, nine hours sleep, um, which is loads. Um, so I shouldn't be that tired, but I just, I feel absolutely exhausted to be honest. Um, I have work tonight. So I just had the weekend off, so I'm back in work tonight, which is fine, wow. See how I go tonight and then Okay guys, so I've just phoned my pharmacy, wow, the fertility pharmacy, and I have managed to rearrange my delivery for tomorrow, which I am super relieved about because I was so nervous it was going to come Wednesday and then I wouldn't have been able to start my medication Wednesday, but it's coming tomorrow, thank goodness. Um, I have, let's see, I'm just going to sign on to my emails because... I kind of received my treatment plan, um, it was, let's see, it was like uploaded onto my fertility file um, account, but it's not letting me log in, and I don't have any login details, so I emailed the clinic back, and they have, um, well I'm just checking that they would have got back to me, I'm hoping they have, um, because then... I can print that off. I need to give a couple of copies. Wow, I need to give a copy to my manager. I need to have two copies, one in, in the fridge, one in my fertility um, organizer plan. So I just need to check that they've, if they've emailed me back. I sent the email Friday evening, so they might not have emailed me back yet. But I'm kind of hoping they have. Let's see. If they have. For some reason, the email app on my phone doesn't always load. Sorry, you see a glare in my glasses. It's annoying. It's annoying me, to be fair. Um, yeah, so the email on my phone doesn't always load everything. And it doesn't let me look in my junk mail. So, just have a look on here. Let's see. Junk mail. Uh, no, they haven't emailed me back. But saying that, it's only well quarter past nine in the morning, so it's not really anything I can do. My medication is going to be delivered tomorrow, any time between eight a.m. and six p.m. So. It may be the fact that Tyler might have to ride his bike to school and ride home tomorrow because if I miss it then if I miss the delivery one they won't wait because they have loads of women that are waiting for their medication for their fertility treatment and also they won't leave it because I have to sign for it and I have to show ID for it and also if I miss it and I want to arrange re-delivery re I have to pay a lot of money for it to be re-delivered and then my whole treatment plan will I, I don't know what will happen because obviously your fertility treatment is based on your monthly cycle so your periods when it ends um, then when you should start your medication um, my period sorry a bit of information here that you might not want to know but I'm gonna share it anyway because this is my second round of fertility treatment and I think it's really important, especially for other women who who are w wondering what to expect. Because um, before my first treatment, I couldn't fi really find a whole lot of information on it online. Um, so I just want to obviously keep everyone updated. I mean, some people probably won't even care, but like I said, for women who are looking for information about fertility treatment and IVF and things I, I if it was me I'd find it really helpful so my period ended on the 5th of March I don't know if you can see that the 5th of March 
and then you start well i'm starting obviously everyone's plan is different everyone's treatment cycle is different everyone's medication is different but i'm starting so i my period ended on the 5th of march i start my northisterone tablets on the well on the 23rd of march so wednesday um and then i will take them for a week i will then start two weeks of injections um so for the first week i'll just have injection at night time into my stomach and then on the second week of injections i will have two a day one in the morning one at night time and i will also then go to the clinic to have scans every two days to make sure my body is where it should be and also then to hopefully stay on track um they will also do blood tests on each appointment i believe each scan appointment to make sure my body isn't overproducing any more than it already is and also to stop your body from going into shock that's what i remember from my first try um once my tablets have finished and all my injections have finished for those two weeks i will do a trigger injection so that could be at any time of the morning or night or anything and i will do that go up do that and then i will then have i think it's 24 hours and then i'll go in for my egg collection surgery and then my eggs and also my partner's sperm will the sperm will be injected directly into the middle of the egg because I'm having ICSI, so it's a little bit different from standard IVF. They will be incubated for five days until they reach the blastocyst stage, and then I will go. So they will phone me then on day three, four, and five of incubation to give me updates on how it's going, and then I will go in for my embryo transfer. So super, super nervous about that. Um, and then I think oh yeah and then I will also after the day after my embryo transfer I will start injections daily for 16 days and I will have pessaries for 12 days three times daily um, on my first try I didn't have the extra injection after my embryo transfer the reason I'm having it now is because on my first try I started spotting quite early before test day so it's to hopefully prevent my body from bleeding to keep the embryo in place um, to give my body more of a chance and also my injection dosage is higher from the first time so hopefully then also give my body more of a chance which I'm really, really hoping it works this time. Um, obviously, it's it's just the whole experience of IVF is exhausting, um, emotionally exhausting. It adds so much so much pressure onto you. Uh, it's it's just a roller coaster of emotions, to be honest. Um, especially when you know the first time obviously that was really really upsetting um the first time it failed because in a way you have all your hopes pinned on it um now it's my second try <clears throat> to be honest i'm a bit, i am a bit more nervous because i know people who have had fertility treatment for six times until they've actually fallen pregnant and stayed pregnant um but yeah i'm super nervous i'm really really hoping it works to be honest um but obviously only time will tell and i'll just have to wait and see what happens uh so yeah so that's done um what else do i did i have to do today oh i have to ring the school about uh parents evening so i will do that and my car needs a service but I'm going to let my other half book that because I'm not sure if it needs a half a service or a full service because I don't, I can't remember what it last had because this is the first time we're putting it for a service because we got it new 
uh, well, new to us, but obviously I only had one previous owner prior to us. So I'm not sure if it needs a half service or a full service. Um, and also I'm not sure if he's going to be booking it in with Mercedes or through the car shop, which is where we got it from. So I'm just going to let him book that in and deal with that because knowing me, I'll muck it up and book the wrong day or book the wrong service or book the wrong place. So I'm not going to get involved with that. What else do I have to do? Oh yeah, I've emailed my work already. i just done that to say about my pension being transferred over. So that's all done. I now just have to phone the school to try and book parents evening because it wouldn't let me book online. And well, I'm sure I had something else to do and I can't remember what it was now. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm going to leave the fertility clinic till tomorrow. Be just in case they do email me my treatment plan directly, which I've asked them to do. Between now and then, if I haven't got it by tomorrow lunchtime, I will phone them. And then see if they can send it over to me. Because I need it for Wednesday, because I need to read through it. I need to get my head around it, so does my other half. And like I said, I need to give a copy out to my work and stuff. So, I've just got to wait for that now, which I'm hoping they will do today, because, like I said, it's still early, it's not even half nine yet, so, and I know they only come in at nine o'clock, I think they start, so, yeah, um, I'm still feeling really, really rough, to be honest, <clears throat> like, it's my chest when I talk, it's really painful, I honestly don't know what's going on. I it's I it started on Saturday morning. I started to feel quite um quite unwell. And I just thought, oh it, it's you know, it'll go. It's just where I'm tired because I worked Friday night and all that. And then as the day went on Saturday, I felt okay. I didn't feel too bad. And now it hit me yesterday, completely hit me on Sunday. It just completely wiped me out by Sunday late afternoon I just had no energy I was feeling rough my throat was hurting my nose my ears my head my shoulders my muscles just completely hurting to be honest but yeah anywho I've got to just get on with it to be fair I can't afford to have any time off of work <clears throat> because I work nights so I'm on a set rate and I don't get sick pay, which is okay. Um, I, I I know most companies don't do sick pay or anything like that. So, oh God. I've just looked at myself in a viewfinder and I look, I look absolutely awful. Don't I? I just look like absolute wreck. Maybe if I put my glasses back on because does that help? Not really. Can I be bothered to put any makeup on? No. <laughs> so I can't, I honestly, I can't believe I'm posting myself on the internet looking like this rough, to be honest. But, everyone gets it. I suppose everyone gets days where they just look like absolute S-H-I-T, don't they? Um, so, yeah. Uh, what am I going to do now? can't decide if I'm hungry or not I don't think I am I, I really don't feel like eating um if you can hear loads of noise it's because the window's right here and I still live opposite a building site which it just seems like it's taking forever to be completed it just doesn't seem to be getting done very quick at all and it's really annoying me now because it's so noisy especially where I work nights and during the day I, I tried to sleep there's constantly work going on opposite the road um, lorries vehicles everything like that constantly going down so it's really really hard to sleep during the day uh, what am I going to do now but yeah so I'm probably just get some tidy and done because yeah it's a bit of a mess 
kitchen needs a bit of a sort out okay guys it is a lot later in the day now i do apologize i do not know where the morning has gone it just flew away with me it is now 20 to 1 all morning well since i last spoke to you i have been on the phone non-stop sending emails it's been manic i got my fertility tre treatment plan get my words out so I got my fertility treatment plan uh, and then I had to print this off but my printer was paying up, it would not print and then in the end it turns out there was paper completely stuck inside so I had to use tweezers to get that out and then I had to forward this to my work so I could request my recommended time off. And then I had a phone call from my assessor who I am doing my level 4 children's home qualification with um just to go through some work uh go through our uh, arrange our next meeting and when she was going to call me if it's going to be video call and what the meeting was going to be about and things so that is all i've been doing all morning i literally haven't even started the cleaning i just want to show you what i have got for my second round of fertility treatment um so most of this is pretty much the same from my first try um but a couple of things have changed so this is my treatment schedule without showing you too much information and on here we have when i'll be starting my tablets which is wednesday um my first scan day um my so on the 4th of april i will start my evening injections until the 8th of April and then I will do my morning injections starting the 8th as well as my evening injections but my evening injections will finish on the 11th of April it's quite confusing but once you um you know look look at it properly and then it also states here which is really good this hasn't got any of my details on it also states here what you'll be doing on what dates which I think is really, really good. For example, cycle day one, I've already done that. That was to inform them of my first day of my period. That's all done. Cycle day one to five will be when one of the nursing team will contact me. I've all done that. Cycle day 19, so this is where I'm at. I'm already on step three, cycle day 19, which is when I'll be starting my Northisterone tablets. I will take one a day, twice daily starting on the 4th on my final day of northisterone you should take both doses as normal you should expect a withdrawal bleed approximately five to seven days following completion of this course of tablets and then i also have my baseline scan uh, following your withdrawal bleed you will attend the clinic for a baseline scan if your period starts more than two days before your appointment or you have not started a period please call the nurse it may be necessary to change the date of your appointment. But last time, for example, on my first treatment tr um, cycle of treatment, to be fair, my body really did cooperate with the treatment. Everything was as it should be. Everything was by the dates it should be. So, fingers crossed, it plays ball again because this is my treatment plan I and I really do plan to stick to it. Um, and I just hope it doesn't change but we shall see um another thing that i'm using for my treatment is there we go but <laughs> so i used both of these throughout my first cycle um i am rereading them in preparation for my second cycle so we have zeta west's guide to fertility and assisted conception this book is amazing i highly 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 recommend this book it has been a lifesaver to me it's so detailed it tells you what to expect on each appointment where your body should be out uh, be at signs symptoms um everything is in this book it's absolutely amazing so it is quite expensive it was 16 pounds but honestly this book is an absolute game changer I also have Get a Life, His and Her Survival Guide to IVF. So, 
I got this mainly for my first cycle, but there are a lot of stuff in here, bits of information in here that you wouldn't normally think about, which is why I am rereading this. Um, I'm not reading all of it, um, a lot of it I don't need to know because I remember most of it um, and most of the hints and tips and stuff, but I am just flicking through and reading what I what applies to me. So I really recommend this book as well. But if you are going through any treatment or you know anybody who's going any through any fertility treatment, I suggest and highly recommend this book. Honestly, it's an absolute game changer, but I can't even get my words out. Game changer of IVF. I had a fertility journal. Um, I bought it, it wasn't, uh, to begin with, I wasn't really sure if I was gonna use it how it was going to benefit me but in the end after my fertility treatment finished it's just absolutely amazing because you can document all your signs symptoms in there all your appointments your consultations your scans outcomes from everything your medication when to start stop dosage reasons for dosage everything is in there it's really good so i bought another one this is a different pattern to my last one that i've got from on etsy i will try to link it down below but it's the ultimate ivf journal it looks like this it is so good um i've already done my first entry in here but i'll show you so this journal belongs to it has let's see It has like little quotes in here, which I absolutely love. This one says, the struggle is part of the story. Love that quote. It also has a section for all your planning. It has, so that's like calendars where you can put dates of appointments in and you can just write your, the months up here. It has, important information so again this is for and like your appointment list is all here i'll just hide what i've put in there but your appointment list and then that goes on to, for quite a few pages and then every so often it has a quote this quote says even miracles take a little time i absolutely love that quote um it has a section can't open it it has a section where you can write your costs in here because obviously unless you're on the nhs your fertility cycle will cost you a lot a lot of money um, including medication so it's just a way to help you keep track of your costs and your spending and your overall well overall cost really um and then it has a section for progress, which I really, really like. Um, a section for consultation notes. Um, so it has quite a few pages of consultation notes section, so it just looks like this. Uh, let's see. So yes, yeah, like I said, that's just all consultation notes. And then it has a section for test trackers. Now, this bit is where you will write your medication in, um, your dosage per day, and then you tick it to say you've done it so you can keep track of it. It has a section for your stimulation dates and also any other tests in here as well. For example, if you have extra have any extra tests like blood tests scans or anything like that you can write it in and the reasons why here it has your egg retrieval section so you can write in the date how many eggs retrieved um how many mature eggs were there how you felt that's all in this top section and then in the bottom section it has embryos so the date for example the embryo incubation stage till it reaches bass assist is five days so and they normally call you three times throughout those five days um so this has three entries so date 
date since retrieval and number of embryos remaining. So one, two, three, which I think is really good. And then it has here at the bottom the date of your embryo transfer. So the date, how many were transferred and the grade of them. It also says how you felt that day. And then again, it's just hormone level then, but I didn't complete that last time. Here it has a section for self-care. So it has a section for your mood tracker. So you write the dates in uh, or cycle date after. Um, and then you just tick what your mood was, which I think is really, really good. Oh, can you see that? There we go. Sorry guys, my battery died. Absolute nightmare. Um, just... Yeah, my battery died, so it's been on charge. But yeah, back to what I was talking about, which was the fertility journal. I will link it down, be down below. It's from an Etsy seller. Um, I think it was only about tw what, 20 pounds, 23 pounds, but it's highly, highly worth it. Um, I highly recommend. So I'm just going to start my cleaning now, to be honest. Um, it is ridiculously late in the afternoon. My day has been non-stop, just phone calls, emails, everything. So I just want to show you what I've got to do. So it is a bit of a mess, so please ignore that. So I just want to sort out this side here. Um, I've just got some bits over here, my purse, my bag, my laptop's on charge. I've got some bits to go away from taking down the trampoline. Um, the sides need a clean. My partner popped in on his break from work and had a coffee, so I need to clean that. Sides need a clean. Um, out here, I've just got to sort that bag out. The living room needs sorting out, so I've got, again, sides need a clean, table needs sorting out, sofa needs sorting out, shoes to be put away. Ignore my plant. My cat has absolutely, absolutely destroyed it. So now it just falls to the side. And then I also need to just get my bag sorted for work. But I'm going to pop you on a time lapse just whilst I do all the cleaning. So, and I'm going to also put on some music on Alexa because that keeps me motivated. It's 20 to 3, so I have about an hour till I have to leave to get Tyler from his after school club, uh, maths club. Um, so I'm hoping I can get the cleaning done and my bag sorted. Wow, well, by quarter to 3. Quarter to 3, quarter to 4. So I'll pop you on a time lapse.
Okay, I've finished all my cleaning downstairs anyway. Um, I've got a little bit to do upstairs, but honestly, I'm just feeling I'm just going to do that tomorrow because I'm not feeling too good at all still. So, I've cleaned all of the kitchen sides. Uh, I've still got that to do, but ugh, I'll do that later. I've cleaned off this side, so I've left on here my laptop, which is charging, my IVF journal and books, because they're easy access here. My watch, I need to take that upstairs to get charged. Um, and just a few little bits for my partner and my hair clip. I've sorted out that bag here. Those shoes are just to go upstairs when I go up. I've cleaned and tidied the living room so the sofa's done, coffee table's been cleaned and wiped, TV unit and also the sideboard has been um, wiped over, shoes have been moved from down there, I sprayed some air freshener and also some unstoppable freshener all across the sofa, so that's all my cleaning done, I've just got a sort my work bag out now um really hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe it would mean a lot and i'll see you in my next video bye